Yeah, I am not doing that. And here's why. I think that being silent to raise awareness for autism just reinforces a stereotype that all autistic people are silent and locked in and that's just not true. My autistic son talks all the time and to be honest we'd be better served by a protest in which everyone was forced to speak in lines from Charlie Brown movies than by a protest in which everyone is being quiet. Um, that's not representative of the autistic population I know. Um, also, I'm not really sure how effective a campaign in which we're all we're globally passive-aggressive really is. Um, having a worldwide pout, I'm not sure that's the best way to get out our message. Um, I don't see people, the people we're trying to communicate with, the people we're most trying to get our message across to, I don't see them suddenly perking up today and going, gosh, what happened to all those autistic people? What happened to all those cranky parents who are usually in here complaining that we've cut their services? Um, this is terrible. We can't have them being quiet for a whole day. We gotta do something. Of course they're not going to say that. I'm sure they're delighted to get a day off um, from listening to us. I think that they need to hear our voices, particularly as this is the day before midterm elections. Um, I'm not going to get overly political here, but um, I think if you have a message and you're trying to communicate it, then communicate. You know, um, Don't take the day before elections to suddenly go still and quiet and hope they recognize how, how polite you're being and, and decide to give you your way. Sharon Angle, are you behind this autism awareness campaign? Um, anyway, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so um, squeak. Use your voice. Use your vote. Whatever you have to say, speak up. And in case you came here today for the costume parade and not my rant against the global pout, here is my parade of cute children in Halloween costumes. Here is my son whoop, playing with his friend Chase, enjoying his frog costume. Here is my beautiful daughter in her Pocahontas outfit, looking super cute. Here she is dancing with her buddy at school. Check it out. Oh! Busting out the hardcore moves. Um, here is my beautiful niece Sloane in her poodle costume, not wearing her poodle ears because she does not like them. But she is beautiful. And there's a happy Billy enjoying the swings in his astronaut costume. He kept saying he was flying. And we had a wonderful Halloween and I hope you did too.